What you see here is Pi process book with data from instruments and from Promax, basically replicating what you would see in a control room. This session will introduce you to the tools needed in order to do something like this. Now we will come back to this later, but first we're going to explore a little more about Promax data exchange. For me, this is the most exciting development since Promax was originally launched. With Promax 6.0, any Promax model may connect with external databases. Database values may be used as import values into Promax. Promax calculations may be used to populate databases as well. This has been beta tested for years by several companies, and now it is officially released to all Promax users. You can connect to any database, ODBC such as Microsoft SQL, Pi and OPC being the most common. There are three main uses I'm going to cover here in this session. First, our historical runs. Second, I'll show you how to update models to current data or to any other time in history. And third, we're going to go over how to have Promax always running. First, we're going to look at historical runs. I'm going to show you a Promax model here. This here is an oil production facility. And I have this set up right now so that all of the user inputs are actually coming from a Pi database. If I click on the data exchange icon up here in the ribbon bar, you will see the graphic user interface for this. You'll see down here are all of my variables being imported from Pi. I had exported ones as well, but I deleted those for demonstration purposes here so that I could show you how to set up an export. But I have two databases up here that I'm connected to, Pi and Excel. I could add a source here if I wanted to, but I already have them added in that I need. The goal here in this model is I'm going to run historical runs over 10 days. And you'll see I have that set up down here at the bottom. I'm running it once a day for 10 days. So my execution interval is one and my historical execution duration is 10. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now we're going to add in the variable that we want to send to Microsoft Excel. Now, every single day, I want the model to give me the RVP of my oil that I'm producing. So I'm going to go to the RVP inside my oil. I'm going to double click there. I'm going to find my read vapor pressure. It's right here. I'm going to right click on it. Go down to data exchange, export, Excel. I'm going to name it RVP. And now I need to select the cell inside of the Excel spreadsheet. Click select. And I'm going to pull up my Excel here. I'm going to make sure I have the right one selected. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to say OK again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to my data exchange little arrow here next to my icon. And I'm going to go to auto execute. You'll see that Pro Max will start iterating through here. And if I go to Excel, you'll see it start populating inside of Excel as well. And it's going to go through one by one adding all of those in. I could add as many variables as I want. I could not only do RVP, but I could also put my VOCs in there too. I could put in my horsepower for my VRU. I could put in my production rates as well. Anything I want, I can put in there. And I could export it not just to Excel, but I could also export it to Pi, SQL, OPC, or a custom database if I wanted to. Or I can do all of them at exactly the same time. 
Imagine having the ability to go back in time to monitor your RVP over the course of an entire year. You could calculate all of your GHGs, VOCs, HAPs. You could also troubleshoot any sort of operations as well that you may run into. There are really endless possibilities here. This is a point where I'd really want to encourage you to let your imagination run. Imagine all the things that you could do with this. So as we let this finish up here, we're next going to be moving on to another way to run data exchange. Okay. The next way to run data exchange is to update your any model you have to just the current data that you may have. So to demonstrate this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to another model. This one is an amine sweetening unit. And what I want to demonstrate here is the ability to update your model to current data with just the click of a button. Here you see an amine unit, and the model looks like any other Promax model. However, underneath are all the pi tags, and I can show those to you again here. I'll click on data exchange, and you'll see I have all the pi tags in here. All of my inputs are in there already. And so now, if I want to at any point update this to just whatever is the most current data we have in our Pi system, all I need to do is click up here and click Execute Project. That's one click, and now the model is updating to the current data. What an excellent way to save time. And in just a few seconds, the model will be updated to the current data. And so this could be in the hand of any unit unit engineer, and all they need to do is open up their model any day they want, click execute project, and then now the model is completely updated. And you'll see here, it just took a few seconds, and now my model is updated to current days. Also, I could go back in time. For example, if I click on data exchange here, and instead of doing the historical execution begin as zero seconds here, I can just click on this little button here and it will give me a calendar. And I can just say, let's go to yesterday at noon. Say OK. Click Execute Project again. And now my data is being updated to yesterday at noon. Hopefully you can see that every unit engineer needs to have this in their hands. This is extremely powerful, and it means that there's so much less data entry, and that allows the engineer more time to solve any issues in the plant. Now, I'm going to bring you back to the very first window I showed you. I have a model, the same as the one that we just did. I have that model on our server as well. Now, that model runs every two minutes, pulling data from Pi, calculating results, and sending that data back into Pi. Using Pi Process Book, I can display all the results, as you see right here. Everything red represents instrument values. Everything blue shows values in Pi that are populated by Promax. I also added trend lines in here to show results over time. And remember, you can do this for any model. There are some places instruments are near impossible to use. Promax can easily fill in that space. Promax can fill in the blanks. You no longer need to make decisions with very limited information. For example, looking at these results, I can see my absorber approaches 
bulge temperature, and rich loading are all low enough that my unit can handle a lowered circulation rate. I can also see my steam rate is high enough to prevent corrosion in my reboiler. And I know that by observing the H2S and CO2 concentration in the reboiler vapor. Most of these values are practically impossible for instruments to measure. There is no need to be in the dark any longer on these values. I firmly believe this is the way of the future. Now, data exchange is currently live and working for thousands of facilities. It is being used in upstream operations and in downstream operations. Some are using it to automate emissions calculations, some for monitoring oil RVP, some are using it for allocation of royalties, some are using it for calculating oil shrinkage, and others are using it for monitoring sulfur plants. The sky's the limit here. This is the time to really use your imagination and find out what sort of problems can you solve, what sort of data can you provide? What sort of blanks can you fill with Promax running? <laughs>